All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakhadash. It's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrews, Yahweh, by Hashem in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten the Son. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the hopeful elect preachers, word and truth and sincerity. On the brother Tazaba, the Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And I wanted to go in on this. Right, it says scientists have just identified the first known outbreak of rabies in, in seals. Scientists in South Africa say they have identified an outbreak of rabies in seals that is believed to be the first time the virus has spread in sea animals. At least 24 Cape fur seals that were found dead or euthanized in various locations on South Africa's west and south coast had rabies, state veterinarian Dr. Le Leslie Van Helden said. And the reason why I get this article is because the scriptures talk about the teeth of wild beasts, right? Let me get something for you. Terrifying. That's a fox sneaking up on a woman in her front yard. From this angle, you can see the attack. She kicks the fox over and over, but the animal keeps coming back. It's biting her legs and scratching her arms as she tries to break free. The more I tried to get him to leave me alone, the more vor voraciously he came after me. He just wouldn't stop. And my fear was that he was going to trip me up and I would fall and he would attack my face. The fox won't give up. He latched into my, the fatty part of your hand right between your thumb and your forefinger with all of his might and he held on and I, I tried to rip him off. I tried to swing. You see, and people don't know. <clears throat> so the, the, the actual virus that causes uh, rabies, right? Let me get it, man. Right there, it says a neurotropic virus in the family Rabdo, Rabdoverde, Rabdoverde or Lysis or Lysis virus. That Lysis virus actually goes into, when you look up the Latin term, it means rage disease. So these animals, man, they, they, they lose their shit and then bite somebody. And you ain't able to get the treatment you threw. Once you once uh that fear of uh water sets in, there's no cure for you. It's just a matter of time till you die. And these animals, when they actually get uh rabies <laughs> uh and they start attacking, the only thing that'll make them stop attacking is if they die. That's why when they actually start going on people and they have rabies. Nothing stops them. They're in pain. They no longer feel pain because the virus attacks the nervous system. So they, it's just all go. No, no breaks. Well, in the scriptures, right? Let's get this, man. Matthew. Or not Matthew. Jeremiah 15. Jeremiah 15 in a... Uh, I'll, I'll start at one. It says, Then said Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my eye, my mind could not be towards his people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Right? Because the message has gone out long enough. And now we're seeing all everything that's, that builds in to every prophecy that goes into the day of the Lord. You know, uh, a terrible time. All these things are building up and now coming to the forefront. The fact that they're finding rabies and marine life for the first time is, is hey, that's showing you that, hey, if it's happening in marine animals for the first time, it's got to be running rampant on land animals, right? As if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith Yahweh, such as for death to death, such as for and such is for the sword to the sword, and such is for the famine to the famine, and such is for the captivity to the captivity. The Lord's just going to start choosing people's lots. What judgment you're going to get? And a lot of that death is going to come at the hands of animals, man. Right? And I will. And if you if you notice over the last maybe 
uh, 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 five, maybe six years. Right before COVID, they had a mass amount of, uh, you know, dogs, cats, everything like that, that weren't getting adopted. Then COVID came around, people were locked in their house and they needed a companion. So people started taking some of those in and they cleared out those animal shelters. I, I guarantee you, if you looked up now, since people started going back to work, a lot of those animals are right back in the shelters or just running the streets. Right. So they're, they're going to be used for the judgment of the Lord. It says, and I will point over them four kinds. Say, Yahweh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. All right. So it's not going to just be dogs and cats. You're going to have to worry about other uh, other uh, wildlife, other, you know, wild beasts that are out there, bears, mountain lions. Right. Bobcats. Right. Jaguars, all that, man. Even some of these zoo animals are going to get out and start doing their business. But the Lord is going to use these. The Lord is going to use these animals to push forth his judgment, man. Sirach 39. And 30. I started 28. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, right? And some of these animals got that spirit on them, man. And really that, that disease is putting that rage spirit, right? On them. It says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes and in time of their destruction, they pour out their, their force and appease the wrath of him that, that made them. So this is the, the Lord's going to bring this forth. In order to get these animals going buck wild to appease his wrath. It says fire and hell, famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beast and scorpions, serpents. And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. You see? It says they shall rejoice in his commandment. They shall be ready upon earth when need is. Right? And the need is now. These people are, are, are fully gone. Fully gone. It's, it's wicked out here, bro. The need is now, right? And when their time is 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 come, they shall not transgress his word. So when the Lord says, "Hey, go go and tear that nigga up," hey, these animals, man, they ain't gonna break the, that 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 judgment. Those spirits that the Lord is gonna put on these animals, they're not gonna break that judgment. Ezekiel five and seventeen, it says. I started at 16. It says, when I send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction. Right. And mind you, they killing off all this livestock. They killing off all this wildlife, the pesticides. Right. All this stuff is being killed off and it's destroying the balance. So when these animals can't find food and there ain't no food in the garbage because, well, if famine kicked in, niggas ain't throwing nothing away. Well, the people are going to be the food. It says, in which I will send to destroy you, I will increase the famine upon you, and I will break your staff of bread. So I will send on uh, upon you a famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee, I how I have spoken it, right? Those evil beasts, the Lord's going to be using them, and the Lord's using has used beast in the past to put forth his judgment on wicked ass souls, man. This is second Kings two and 24. It says, sorry, 23. And he went up from thence unto Bethel. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, go up, Thou bald head, go up thou bald head, mock, mocking the prophet, talking about Elisha. It says, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of Yahweh. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear 40 and two children of them. Right. The Lord used that bear to put forth his judgment. That spirit of vengeance was put on him, that spirit of raging. And the Lord used him for his judgment. So this this I think this is something to build into that prophecy. And when you look at it and spiritually compare, hey, and you look into the disease 
of rabies and how it's called what the raging disease right we about to see some shit shallow one